Hi, this is Christian from Spitfire Audio. We've got a rare opportunity here to document the construction of two writing and recording suites up here in King's Cross in London, England. Uh, I think it's going to be fascinating to watch two uh, recording areas evolve from what is actually just a standard uh, office block uh, with some great natural light. Let's come back in a week to see how they've got on. So this is week two of the uh, build. Uh, we're expecting this build to take about uh, two to three months. And you can see in one week, quite miraculously, they've already managed to put a double stud wall up, um, remove all of the, the junk that you saw last week briefly. You can see where the radiators were up against the wall. And here's this double stud wall. Uh, the reason for doing this is a kind of a double protection against the recording studios that are next to us. Uh, we've actually got a gentleman called Drew uh, Masters, fantastic composer, but he does like silence when he's working, so uh, this will guarantee that. So take me, uh, let me take you on a little um, guide of um, how it's all going to be kind of laid out. Uh, this is the shower room, this is the toilet, and uh, this is the central kind of um, corridor walkway, which will have that lovely natural light from above. And then to the left here is Studio One. And uh, if you just move forward above me, again, some lovely natural light, which will be above the uh, sofa that will face into the room. Um, uh, the famous sofa at the back of every studio uh, up to the back wall which is where the workstation will be um, there will be a wall constructed along this uh, column so these windows will be obscured and then this area to the left is going to be the machine room uh, it's quite a large space and it's going to be great because you're going to be able to open the windows uh, to get some kind of natural air in there so it's a kind of chill out area as well potentially um, so this camera actually makes this room look a lot smaller than it actually is, but it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a large space. So back to the um, corridor here, and then as we walk along, this is where we'll enter Studio 2, which is a similar sized room, again with natural light. This, however, will be above the workstation, so we will need to organise some blinds to avoid uh, glare for when uh, presenting to directors and stuff. And here is the machine room for uh, that room. So next week it should start getting a little bit more interesting when they start laying the flooring, which is fully floated and uh, tuned to uh, specific frequencies. Um, and I kind of promise that it'll get, start getting a lot geekier then and uh, we'll start getting some information from Monroe Acoustics, who are a fantastic company who are designing these spaces. See you next time.